So, what do you guys want to talk about stuff? Because I just finished Lollipop Chainsaw and, uh, mm, girl, let me tell you, mm, 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 this game is badass. And I say that with my chainsaw voice. And I don't just say that because, I mean, obviously it's a kick-ass girl doing things that girls do. And when I say that, I mean slaying zombies with a chainsaw. No, no, you, you're wrong, that's why you think. Because it's actually because this game has a fantastic story. If you just play it once over, you're not gonna get all the unlocks that you would if you played it, you know, two or three times. And by beating it one time, obviously, I mean, a lot of games do this, you have the option to go into, you know, super hard, like hardcore, like hardcore difficulty? I don't know what it is, but I just unlocked that now, so I'm going back. And there's actually two endings, so I have a second ending that is also an option for me. So I'm gonna watch that when I finish the second playthrough. So, that is fun, and also fun is all of the really sweet references that James Gunn makes with his writing. In one of the first boss battles, I think it's actually the second one, there is a zombie viking called Vic. Or Vic. Vic! With two K's and an E! They're totally making fun of, like, viking metal bands, like Amon Amarth and, like, Guar and shit. And uh, this guy, he, he takes a while to die, let's just say that much. But at the very end, he turns into a giant head. And do you guys remember that YouTube video? Or I don't even know if it was a YouTube video. It was more of a meme or I don't even know. It might have been a Flash video way back in the day, maybe like five years ago. And it was like, I'm a charge of my lasers. And then like giant lasers would come out of his mouth. Yep, Vic does that. So... Tip the hat to you, sir. That is amazing. Love it. Charging my lasers all day long, all night long. I'm gonna go play some more after this, I'll tell you right now. Um, there's also some really good music used in this game, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say, number one, the fact that they implemented uh, J uh, Jimmy Urine from uh, Mindless Self-Indulgence. <sighs> Badass. Secondly, Children of Bodom. On like the second level, like are you serious? I heard that and I was like, I'm in, I just, I love this game. I just love it so much. I can't put it down. I can't. I just, I'm gonna stay in my room forever. I just gotta play this. I... <laughs> also, there was a video on the YouTubes today that I saw and it was just so great because this guy, he's just, he's really, in, he's just really enjoying a tasty burger. Just a tasty little morsel. He's, here, have a bite. It's so great. It's so great. Here, have a bite of that. Oh, so good. That just looks, that just looks wrong. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I just keep doing it back and forth. <laughs> ring, ring. Who is it? Oh, it's a cheeseburger. Oh, is it delicious? Is there cheese? Is it from Five Guys Burgers and Fries? Songify, songified it. I forgot what the internet trope is, or it, the group that, that does all the crazy videos. I think they did the the Antoine, huh, the Antoine Dobson, um, Dodson, or whatever, uh, internet video where he's like, how'd your kids, how'd your wife? So, uh, so anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. I'll put the little blinkeroonie down here so you can watch it for yourself because it's great. It's just so great. It's so grand and wonderful all at the same time. So, uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to rant about, uh, this week. Uh... I'm going to be at PAX, PAX Prime, the Penny Arcade Expo, and I'm going to be at the, at the Game Stop Show in San Antonio, Texas, and that's in two weeks, so I hope to see you there. If you've never been to a PAX, that's one of my favorite events of all time, so I hope to see you there soon. Also, have a great day. Damn, damn.